Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel of Asian to Knowledge. Today we are going to discuss uh, punctuation marks, uh, its rules uh, and uses uh, with examples. Uh. As we know that every language has its own punctuation marks, uh, but their size uh, and uses are different from uh, other languages. Uh. And without a punctuation marks, uh, a single sentence cannot be complete and it give not uh, give a meaning. So today we will learn English punctuation and how these punctuation uh, uses uh, correctly. Why do we need punctuation? Punctuation marks are symbols that indicate the structure and organization of written language, as well as intonation and pauses to be observed when reading aloud. Punctuation allows the author's writing to be easy to read and understandable for the readers. Punctuation can save a person's life. Let's see the example. Let's eat further. This sentence is uh, grammatically correct, uh, but the sense is not good. Another sentence, uh, let's, let's eat further. This sentence gives complete sense. Now, types of punctuation. There are more than 14 or 15 punctuation marks in English. But here we will discuss just a few. Just like periods or full stop, comma, colon, question mark, quotation marks, exclamation points, parentheses, apostrophe and semicolon. Period. We can also call a full stop. A full stop is uh, used uh, in a declarative or telling sentence. For example, I am going to market to buy a grocery. Or we can say that uh, I will come tomorrow. Full stop is also used uh, to indicate an ab abbreviation. For example, look at the words uh, doctor, doctor, mister, mister. It can be also used uh, as a decimal points when used in numbers. Uh. For example, uh, we can say that uh, I need 1.5 liter milk. The full stop or period uh, can be also used at the end of uh, indirect questions. For example, he asked uh, where the milk uh, was. Another type of uh, punctuation marks uh, is comma. How and where we use commas? We need commas to separate items in a list. For example, she had a ham sandwich, a drink, a jelly and a chocolate bar for lunch. Any other reason for commas? We can also use the comma when two separate sentences or combined or connect. For example, we purchased some cheese and we purchased some fruit. These are two separate sentences. Commas also uses between two words in a series. Notice that a comma does not follow the last word in the series. 
it means uh, that uh, the last word when it comes and uh, we will not use a comma before and uh. for example he was uh, tall dark and handsome comma can be also used to separate an introductory element from the rest of the sentence for example if the day came to an end the firefighters put out the last spark comma can be also used to set off the words yes and no example no thank you another types of punctuation marks is question marks of course we use question marks when i ask a question in a sentence for example will you go with me where are you from we also use question mark when a sentence is half statement and half question for example you do care don't you another types of question mark sorry punctuation marks is colon colon is used after a complete sentence to introduce a list of items for example on my trip i will bring clothes a pillow a sleeping bag a toothbrush and my teddy bear a colon should not be preceded a list unless it follows a complete sentence for example i want an assistant who can do the following a input data write a reports and complete text forms semicolon semicolon are used to join two independent clauses or two complete thoughts that could stand alone as complete sentences look at the example my daughter is a teacher this sentence is a full and it gives a complete thoughts my son is a doctor this this is also give a complete sense so semicolon connect to independent clause we can also use the semicolon to separate units of a series for example there are eight members in the team two from china japan three from france spain two from brazil and one from india another types of punctuation marks is accent exclamation marks exclamation marks is used to demonstrate strong feelings or emotion such as shock surprise anger or raised voice look at the words and punctuation marks ah and this is the exclamation marks it's eating my leg another example ah there are 
Dear are you all? It can also be used to give a command. For example, stop, sit down. It is also used to show amusement. For example, they thought I was the hard clown. Another type of uh, punctuation marks is quotation marks. Quotation marks enclose the exact words of a person. For example, she said, you need to hurry up. Do you agree with the saying, all is fair in law and war? And this is a quotation marks. Quotation marks also set off the titles of a smaller works within larger works. For example, if we give a, a short story, a title, book of stories, to give a title to a chapter and any kind of books, we can enclose uh, the title in uh, quotation marks. Parenthesis. Parenthesis uh, are quotation marks that show additional thoughts about a statement. For example, he received 150 points. Look at the the figure or numbers which are enclosed in a, a brackets on his maths project. We also often use parentheses to set off less important details. The two brothers Look at Ali and Zishan, they are enclosed in uh, brackets, who are learning how to play guitar. Another type of uh, punctuation marks is apostrophe. We can use the apostrophe with construction. It means uh, when we remove uh, some words uh, or some letters uh, in words, uh, we use apostrophe. The apostrophe is always uh, placed at this part where one or more letters have been removed. For example, the word do not, but we constructed uh, don't uh, we remove the O letter? Isn't uh, this is uh, is not? Uh, you are we remove a. Uh, you are right. She is a great teacher, but we say she is a great teacher. We remove I and we put uh, an apostrophe at the spot. Apostrophe can be also used uh, to show possessions. For example, one boy's uh, hat, one child's uh, hat, Mr. John's uh, golf club, Mrs. Uh, Ali's uh, books. So this is our topics. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any question, you can uh, ask me in the below comments.